Last week I had a recording session at ORF Funkhaus with my band Combo Simpatico and I am pretty happy with the recordings. You can watch the videos and listen to the music on YouTube. I will put some links down there. If you like my channel, subscribe it, make comments. The standard miking for many people is Shure SM57, which is a great mic. It has very strong mids. It focuses on the mids and that helps cutting through the mix. Many people combine the Shure SM57 because it can be a little bit harsh with the Royer 1 to 1, which is also a great mic, but not so cheap. It's a ribbon mic and this is a great combination. I mean, you can use each one alone. The ribbon alone will sound pretty warm, but if you want some edge to the sound, mix it with the Shure SM57. This can take time because you have to put these two mics in, in phase. If they are not in phase, it can sound really terrible. So this can take some time to put them in phase. You can move it before you record, just the right position in phase and then start recording. Or later in the workstation. But then you can, you should listen only to one mic by recording because if you record with out of phase sound, it's not so much fun. So this can take time. I mean, I heard stories about people who were miking a snare drum for a week or something. I don't want to spend so much time for miking. And if I go to some session like this, it gotta be pretty fast miking, playing, making the interview and going for pizza. So I took this little guy with me, the Sennheiser E906, which I prefer for recording guitars. That's the sound that I like very much and this mic is not so sensitive for position. Did I say it before that the SM57 is pretty sensitive about the position. If you move it just a little bit, it can sound totally different. Not so with this. This mic, in my opinion, sounds almost in every position, every standard position in front of the speaker, pretty good. Um, so it's easy. You have you put it in front of the amp and you start playing. That's what I prefer. Um, the other thing with this little guy, if you have a gig, you put it in your guitar bag. Um, you have no stand there, maybe it's a small gig, or you want to record it or something, a live gig, then you can put the cable in and hang it over your amp in front of the speaker. Because the microphone records from here, the SM57 is in front, so you can have problems hanging it over your amp because it records from, from the floor, but not from the speaker. So with this guy, you, have to, you don't have this problem. And in my opinion, it's always, I get always a good sound. I mean, the sound that I like. So I'm, I can really recommend this little mic for recording guitars. I'm a fan of this.